This video is sponsored by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is an adult store giant that has been around for over 45 years. They will undoubtedly help you bring the heat into the new year. Adam and Eve is hooking you up with discount code HONEST which will provide 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions may apply. They have a 90 day no hassle return, 24 7 customer service, no inconveniences, and a lot of hot options. The artist we're going to talk about is so hot, she gave us fever. Literally. Kylie Minogue is one of Pop's reigning queens of reinvention. Her career, influence, and work has gone vastly underrated by the pop powers that be. She's endured a lengthy career and has experienced the bulk of her success in Europe. However, in 2001, Minogue would go on to achieve a widespread breakthrough, most notably in America, a region where Kylie had little to no success. I think the time has chosen me. I didn't, I didn't choose this time to say, now I'm going to go to America. Um, there's a part of me that's frankly wondering what I'm doing here. Literally sitting here looking at it at LA. I, I normally would come here for holidays and no one would pay me any attention. It was fantastic. I'd be shopping in malls or you know wherever and people would say, yes, it's the, of course the lingerie section. I don't know, I don't work here, I'm really sorry. So now it's, it's, it's different. The Australian Empress would heat up the airways with a simmering blend of Europop, club music, and disco-influenced tunes that will cultivate her most successful work to date, Fever. The image for this album is very important. It's like McDonald's without its golden arches. It's nearly impossible to visualize this body of work without this album cover. The album cover is simply one of the best album covers of the 2000s. It has all the ingredients of a perfect album cover. Symbolism, an instantly recognizable pose, and the perfect props, which are little to none. The album cover is minimalist and follows an electro-futuristic theme. The microphone symbolizes Kylie being tied to her work, living and breathing her art. The great thing about this album cover is it's very reflective of the entire era. It feels like she created a world based around this album cover, including all the songs and music videos. It's a pretty underappreciated slice of iconography, but it all ties into the synopsis of this album well. Kylie Minogue before Fever was still not your average Joe or passable pop princess. She had cultivated some daring releases, like 1997's ill-fated Impossible Princess, which has now come to be more appreciated by fans and critics alike. She also had 2000's Light Years, a dance and disco pop album which served as her comeback after Impossible Princess. Her career officially began as an artist in the 80s, and she had a string of successful albums throughout the years, leading up to Fever. Can't Get You Out of My Head is this album's biggest hit, and Kylie's biggest hit to date. It's characterized by its unconventional song structure, and the sometimes unbearably catchy La 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 hook, and its chorus. Sonically, Can't Get You Out of My Head sounds retro modern. It sounds like it may have been released in 2001, but it also manages to sound ageless, modern, and forward thinking, almost like a predecessor to what we now know as the subgenre of hyperpop. It's very techno and Europop, but manages to not fall into the category of disposability or more of the same. It's held up extremely well, even for today, which is a hard thing to achieve for a lot of mega successful dance pop music. It's bouncy, fun, and just a perfect pop song, in a sense that there's not really anything you can change about this song to make it better. It was penned by Kathy Dennis and Rob Davis. Kathy Dennis also happens to be the woman that penned Toxic by Britney Spears, a song that was actually turned down by Kylie. You could only imagine how that would sound, but ultimately the song went to the right person, and the same could be said for Can't Get You Out of My Head, seeing that it was offered to S Club 7 before Kylie Minogue. So glad it went to her. It definitely would have sounded more watered down and just annoyingly childish if it went to them. Apparently Minogue wanted to record the song after only hearing a small portion, and it's easy to see why. The hook and bouncy techno production allows Can't Get You Out of My Head to remain a constant earworm. The music video only helped to maximize the song and fever. 
It features Kylie in a white hooded jumpsuit, a look inspired by the legendary Grace Jones. Kylie dances in a futuristic minimalist city, backed by multiple dancers. It is a well choreographed and visually appealing music video. Kylie is the center focus. Nothing distracts or takes away from her. Lyrically, people don't talk about Can't Get You Out of My Head much because it's pretty simplistic. Sure, it can be seen as light and frothy, but the lyrics also sort of portray a portrait of obsession. The obsession is almost dizzying. You definitely believe she could not get this man out of her head. In the same way she can't get him out of her head, it's the same way we can't get this song out of our heads. This is certainly one of the best dance pop songs of the century. It's timeless. It pulsated its way across the charts globally in 2001, and the rest is history. It peaked at number one in multiple countries around the world and broke the states, bouncing its way all the way up to the peak position of number seven. It is now looked at as her signature song. Although Kylie has many good songs, this song just takes the cake, and it's no reason it should be anything other than her biggest hit. It's such a sleek, futuristic, and inventive song. Fever is one of the standout dance pop albums of the thousands. It too still holds up to this day. It was also one of the first, seeing that it was released in 2001. What we were concerned with achieving is, is good pop songs with um, more progressive production than I've ever had before. Uh, but to find the line to not make it too far. It was very reflective of what was to come down the line from the pop divas from confessions on the dance floor, to the fame, and to present day. One of the biggest pop albums of 2020, Future Nostalgia, is obviously influenced by Kylie amongst other great acts. Kylie has always embraced dance pop and disco influences, so it's not singular in that aspect. However, it was some of her most well-executed dance music up until that point. She kicked off the new millennium with a bang, and that bang reveled on dance floors throughout the world. It is still to this date her best-selling and most successful work, selling over 6 million copies worldwide. The album has a handful of highlights, from the fun, flirty, and bouncy More More More, to the Kylie Copen tune Love at First Sight. After she set the world on fire with Fever, she still continues to light flames in the studio to this day. In 2020, she released a career-high album titled Disco, which happens to be her 15th album, which did quite well and has some strong material that shows Kylie has still got it. She sounds just as great, and she looks just as great. Directly after Fever, she continued to be the chameleon that she is, dabbling in country, R&B, and synth-pop-inspired sounds which also included many switch-ups in personas, looks, and topics. She beat breast cancer and has been very involved with bringing awareness to it and sharing her experience. She remains the best-selling Australian artist of all time. Kylie loves change, so she's never went back and tried to recreate this album. Although she's always embraced dance pop music, she's never made anything quite like it again. Although this album has its slight missteps, it is still one of the best dance pop albums of the thousands. Fever is fun and slinky. It brings the maximum heat without many complications. This album floats with ease without one hurdle. Although Kylie is an understated pop icon, Fever will always be considered the album where Kylie Minogue took over the world. <laughs>